Hey everybody, how's it going? Scott Spritzer here at DocSports.com and welcome to the update for Thursday, August 6, 2020. Got a free NBA play coming up on this report as we look to stay hot in the NBA here. Winner yesterday. Let's rack it up and do it again for Thursday. Uh, before I get to that, a couple of quick notes. First of all, uh, we got back in soccer action after taking a couple of days off. Yesterday we had the UEFA winner. We had one play. It was uh, Inter Milan and they of course got that 2-0 win. Very nice. We had the uh, five-unit underdog winner yesterday yesterday with the Boston Red Sox, which was a nice 5 nothing easy winner. Uh, also in the NBA over at DocSports.com, we cashed that six-star play, the under in the Raptors game, which stayed well below the posted total. It opened uh, 224, 224 and a half, dropped down to around 222, but the teams never approached, never made you feel like you had to sweat, at least in the fourth quarter as they scored 208 combined points. So real nice day yesterday overall, did win every game, uh, but a real nice day overall yesterday. WNBA, which is off uh, to a sluggish start. I'm off to a losing start of the WNBA, but we did cash yesterday. Easy winner. We had the under uh, in the game involving the Aces in Washington. 177 was the total. Uh, they combined for 160 points. So just a good day overall. Good to get WNBA back on track after a 46-26 and 26 run going into this season. Here's what's going on for us on Thursday over at DocSports.com. I do have NBA. I've got one play in the NBA. Uh, I've also got one play in baseball. It's a day time side in Major League Baseball on Thursday. Also wanted to mention that we've got a seven-star NHL play. Now, NHL, we won again last night. Another easy one, a 4 nothing win with the Avalanche. And I tell you what, we had that six-star winner right out of the blocks on Saturday, which was uh, the over between Edmonton and Chicago. And we've continued our winning ways. We're 5-1 and one with our last six in the NHL, which includes 4-1 and one since the restart and up over $1,800 for those wages. $100 per unit. Got one play in the NHL uh, for Thursday's card, and it is a seven star. First one since the NHL restart. So hot in NHL, go check it out over at DocSports.com if you wish to jump on board. NBA, baseball, soccer. I've got UEFA action going on Saturday afternoon. You know how well we've done in soccer going back to mid-April. So it's all there and waiting for you as you wake up on Thursday over at DocSports.com. Hey, don't forget about that uh, free trial run, the free $60 account if you want to jump on board and give it a try. If you're not yet a member at DocSports.com, just click on that link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account, which you can use on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. A real quick note about college football. Man, I think there's a real good chance we're going to have a limited season. Don't know if they'll play an entire slate as they map things out. You never know. They could cancel after three or four games, but at least the Big Ten has jumped on board right now uh, with a conference-only schedule. Schedule. So we've got a few conferences now put out their conference only schedules. So, hey, the more the better, right? Gives us a bigger chance of maybe having some college football this fall. I wanted to mention, going to talk about the free pick now. It's the battle between the Heat and the Bucks. We had the Miami Heat the other day. Uh, we saw that Jimmy Butler uh, was was downgraded to being out about 45 minutes to an hour before Miami's game with the Boston Celtics. We decided to ride it out, and glad we did. Glad for those of you who jumped on board because they were able to go in and get uh, get the win outright as a dog over the Boston Celtics without Jimmy Butler. He's not the only injury right now. He's listed as out again for Thursday's matchup with the Bucks, and also as I'm checking out on my screen right now, updated injury on Goran Dragic is that he uh, is going to be questionable for Thursday's game against Milwaukee because of that ankle injury, if you saw it, that he suffered last time out. So a couple of key injuries for uh, the Miami Heat. Jimmy Butler being downgraded out once again for Thursday is going to be tough to overcome. You know how those teams do, man. All these professional sports, sometimes at major college, you'll see a star player get hurt, and that particular day he's announced out. They go out, they play well, they all come together, and the next time out is when they feel that loss. I think that's what's going to happen here. Now, what I'm going to do though because this particular game has a full game point spread of eight and a half we're going to play the first half on milwaukee and i'll tell you why first of all they're going to be fired up uh, we've listened to what their head coaches had to say some of the players have had to say because they didn't finish up things well before the virus shut things down and of course uh, they had the bad loss the other day as a 19 and a half point favorite something like uh, 49 and 2 nba favorites straight up the last 51 times nba favorites of 19 or more straight up. They were 49 and 2, and now 49 and 3 after the Nets were able to knock off the Bucks 
that as we talked about on yesterday's video, uh, the Bucks kind of shut things down. I mean, first of all, the Greek freak didn't play in the second half, and most of the starters, not a single starter, saw more than 20 minutes. Greek freak saw about 15 or 16. But here's the thing. Budenholzer is talking about we want to get things right. We want to get things right as we head towards the playoffs. And so we are going to come out and take this seriously. You're going to see guys getting more normal minutes. At least that's what he says. Now, listen, if they're up big and he's happy with how the team plays in the first couple of the quarters, I think you'll start seeing some of those starters and regulars, including the freak, sit down. So I think that's what's going to happen. You're going to see a, a motivated and well-played first half from the Buck regulars. And so we're going to make a first half play on Milwaukee minus the points over the Miami Heat on Thursday. That'll be the free play for Thursday's card. All right, listen, uh, as soon as we can and start getting a lot of info, start getting the handicapping done a little bit earlier. We'll have multiple videos every single day, baseball, basketball, maybe even some NHL. So uh, be sure to check that out. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Thursday in the win column.